I'd love to just dive right in and hear about how you first got connected with The Morning Show. I actually found out about the role during my sister's wedding. So we were getting ready to go to her wedding reception and my agent emailed me this audition and he said, listen, man, I think you would actually be perfect for this. And I was already in a suit and I was already getting ready to go. And I just, I just needed somebody to read their lines with me. My wife, Bina, refused to read the lines. So I asked my mom. My mom has always wanted to be a performer. She's always wanted to act. And so my mom did the actual opening song and dance number that I do with Jen on the show. And we did that as my audition. And, and I think the producers liked it. And here we are. What was it like actually, like even just blocking that musical number? And I'm oh. assuming you did all of your own dancing too. Oh, I took it seriously. I went full, I went full like method. Uh, I had the choreographer record it on, on an iPhone and then I played it back in my hotel and I was trying to hit all my marks. I really got into the body roll. I really spent a lot of time with the body roll and the key to a good body roll is shoulder, chest, then hips. I don't know if that ended up making the cut, but I took it very seriously. How was it in joining such like an acclaimed ensemble cast as well? There's been a ton of new actors introducing the second season too. And what was kind of the vibe on set? The vibe, everybody is, is such a pro. And when you look at people like Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, Karen Pittman, Billy Crudup, they're really masters of their craft. I remember one time I was on set and I was watching Billy getting ready to do his scene. We shot my scene and then immediately after me, there was a scene with, with Billy. The level of detail that he had just on his sides, it was like, it was highlighted like he was getting ready to like take the G mat. Like there was highlighter in there. He had put slash marks in the middle of sentences. It was really, it was really uh, beautiful. It was really cool to see someone like him still taking the job that seriously and, and it, it translates on screen. Did you base your kind of TV persona on any real life anchors? To me, it was a little bit of like, it, you know, Eric has the peppiness of like an Andy Cohen slash Mario Lopez, but he also has the seriousness of someone like an Anderson Cooper of like, no, I want to do evening news. I really, I'm really taking myself seriously. So I try to combine all those characters together. So you're basically just like the CNN New Year's Eve telecast with Anderson and Andy then just dropped into one person. Yeah, it's like if they, if they were combined in Indian, that's Eric Namani.